This news update is brought to you by. This is the 6 p.m. Barbados Today update for Wednesday, August 6, 2014. I'm Don Paris. Good evening. Barbados' rum exports to the United States are down 21%, and the island's ambassador to the U.S. and the Organization of American States says critical action must be taken to protect the industry. Ambassador John Beale is blaming the fall-off in exports on the current dispute between Bridgetown and the U.S., over massive subsidies given to rum producers in Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands. Barbados says those subsidies give those U.S. territories a competitive edge over their counterparts in the Caribbean. Bill knocks CARICOM governments for not standing by Barbados in its fight as he warned that the sector is running the risk of being wiped out, just like the banana industry in OECS countries. It can cause real havoc because while it would only originally start with the, the rum industry, you could have some companies that get into financial problems, they may close down, jobs go out, and then that can have other repercussions in the economy and all of a sudden it can affect our tourism and whatnot. So um, the issue of, of we acting together to do something to try to get, um, basically to, in a nutshell, what we want to do is to have all these funds that go down to Puerto Rico and the USVI, which is fine. Um, but they were supposed to go for developmental purposes, and a lot of it has been ended up into the hands of rum producers. To the law courts now, two Jamaicans have been slapped with hefty fines on separate drug charges. 23-year-old Tyron Jerome Taylor, who appeared before Chief Magistrate Pamela Beckles at the Oystens Court today, was fined $6,000 forthwith, or 12 months in prison for importation of a half pound of cannabis into the island last weekend. He was convicted, reprimanded and discharged on all the other charges, possession, possession with intent to supply and trafficking. The other Jamaican, 40-year-old Lance St. Aubin Barnes, also received CRDs for possession, possession with intent to supply and trafficking, but he was fined $18,000 for importing one and a half pounds of the drugs into the island on July 21st. If he doesn't pay the money, he'll spend 18 months behind bars. Taylor and Barnes were both nabbed at the Granley Adams International Airport when they came into the island. Meantime, lawmen are still probing several recent violent incidents. Police Public Relations Officer Inspector David Welch tells Barbados Today that no one has yet been arrested in connection with Monday night's shooting death of Mark Walton of Fitz Village, St. James, or the murder of 26-year-old Richmond Gap resident. Jermaine Harper on July 30th. There are also no suspects in custody for the shooting incident on Kadumant Day, which left a 20-year-old Christchurch man nursing a gunshot wound to the stomach. On the matter of a violent incident on a transport board bus along Chapel Road to Philip last evening, the police PRO said three men who are yet to be identified were involved in a fight which left a female passenger slightly injured. A window on the bus was also damaged. In other news, the opposition Barbados Labour Party's People's Assemblies resume tonight. The BLP says the se second series of its regular town hall-styled meetings, which began last year, will continue until the end of October. According to the party, the assemblies are intended to provide an independent platform for people to speak on issues of national concern. There's regional and international news after this short break. Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bike. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Catch the sun power. 
To the Caribbean now, former Haitian President Jean Breton Aristide has been barred from leaving the country. He's being investigated for alleged acts of corruption, misappropriation of public funds and drug trafficking during his term in office. According to immigration officials, an investigative judge issued the ban against the former leader on the basis that he and 30 others have to appear in court during the coming weeks to answer the charges. Aristide has yet to comment on the ban. On the international scene now, the Russia government has imposed a one-year ban on agricultural and food imports in retaliation for sanctions introduced by other countries over the crisis in Ukraine. President Vladimir Putin instructed government departments to compile a list of products which comply with his order. However, the Russian president did not specify which countries would be affected by the new measures. But the European Union and the U.S. recently intensified sanctions against Russia. And that's where we end the 6 p.m. update. We'll be back again at 7 tomorrow morning. Until then, you can log on to www.barbethistoday.bb, subscribe to our e-paper and our email updates, and like us on Facebook. You can also catch us on Izumi Media in bus terminals or screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. I'm Don Paris. Have a great evening and see you tomorrow morning. This news update is brought to you by...